So I've got nice brand new neoprene gloves on. So I do this nice and carefully. After I got the assembly lube on there now. Nice and slow. There you go. There. Now, as you can see, there is no end play whatsoever with with that center bearing with both flanges on either end. So there's that's on there. Yep. All right. Okay, so I got some assembly lube on the front one and pin this here, pin this there. So it goes on just like that. Make sure there's nothing on here. That one I can't tighten down because I gotta get the oil pump on there as well. So that one that one can stay. Um Let's see. I didn't mark this. I don't think there's any difference on the center one. So, rear one. Let's see. The notch is on this side. For this to go back in, be like that. So, the notch would be on the opposite side. So, if we're going to put this back together and get that little thing off there. Get this back together yeah. correctly. That means the notches on these bearings are on the opposite side. So that would mean that if the notch is on this side, I want the notch on the opposite side. Even though this is almost exactly what's the same. So yep notches on that side so <laughs> one thing you need to know about doing this because I did this on a Ford 3.4 Ranger 3.0 um, get it as clean and clean and clean and clean and clean as you can and you know, maybe a little, maybe I go overboard on some things, but you know what, I don't care. Okay. Putting some silicone, some ultra black or whatever along, get this all a little dried out a little more. Uh, inside of here. Uh, which is not required, I guess, but I like to do it just to make sure everything gets sealed up. Um, however, here's the interesting thing because a lot of people are going to say, okay, well, you know what, you just put this on, wait an hour, then you torque it down. According to the directions on online it says put this on then wait an hour and then turn one quarter to one half turn um so I think I'm just gonna go with the regular 
nobody else has had any problems with waiting an hour then torquing it down so I'm probably gonna do that but Alright, so basically I just recovered this like I did in the pictures before. Picture. So this just slides down nice and nice and even. Now, now I let that dry. Let's see. Set this for an hour. There we go. All right, that's set for an hour. Now, got the arrow. I I painted that with a nail polish, but arrow pointing forward and some of you might think I'm gonna be a little paranoid about this but um, I'm using the uh, these bolts are going the exact same hole and even those uh, lock washers I'm not using them to lock it but I am, I, I'm not taking them out. I'm leaving them in there. They're in there from the beginning. They're in there for a reason. You know, what the heck? Just leave everything alone, put it back together the way it came out. So while I'm waiting for, not too much time left for the gasket sealant to cure up. I'm going to go ahead and tight and torque down the uh, piston uh, caps bolts. Um, the torque on the piston cap bolts is according to the original manual it's 40 to 45 uh, foot-pounds and I've got mine mm, yeah set on about, let's see, yeah, 43, so, yep, all right, now, the reason why I'm I haven't spun this yet the la when I first had this uh, crank installed and I thought oh what the heck let's just spin it and see what happens don't ask me how but before I had torqued it all down um, two out of the four uh, piston bearings turned inside of there well, I'm not going to do that this time. I know that it turns. I know that there's nothing <laughs> wrong with it. So I'm just torquing the thing down. And then whatever happens, happens. The uh, main bearing caps, cap bolts, they are... Uh, 85 to 95 foot pounds. So let's see what I got this at. There's 90. Yeah, I set it to 90. The only one I can do right now until I get to these, because I'm not doing the, the front one yet, because I don't want to have all that stuff in the, the crank that gear is away. The oh pump gear in the way while I'm trying to work around 
putting all that other stuff back together, but I think I have to anyways. No, I don't. To get the thrust bearing on, it'll sit on there just fine. Um, let's see. Heh, 30 seconds. All right, I'll come. Ha ha. <laughs> Oh, that was a fast 30 seconds. <laughs> Kidding. So, uh, let's see, got the piston caps on, uh, torqued, everything, alright, well that's it for there, uh, yeah, you can see my stuff is just kind of piled up, and I know it doesn't matter at all, but hey, <laughs> I'm going to put the bolts back into exactly where they were at. So, and I have to cover all this back up with a top, uh, a uh, blanket because the snowstorm that we got um, kind of covered everything up here. But, all right. And, yep. And there's my tractor or what's left of it. So, alright, that's it.